everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here at the Beaver Creek pack where things got a little weird last time. Uh somehow we fought Solstice, but but not actually cuz Solstice was here. There was just another Junction Butte 2M for no apparent reason. Oh, that's the that's the scent from the food. I was like, what is this really close carcass scent? It is the, the scent from the regurgitated food. That would make sense. Uh, but yeah, what didn't make sense was somehow Solstice has an evil twin, I guess? Either that or it was some weird sort of fever dream, but good gracious. <laughs> Whatever it was, I don't think Cricket took too kindly to it, and I think she is a little bit on edge and is definitely going to want to be extra careful with her pups now, and Solstice seems like it too. He's kind of looking at him kind of squinting off into the bushes and giving a howl there, but how's our territory looking? Oh boy. We could stand to brush up on our borders, and I think that's exactly what Cricket's going to do here, because... She's got a good amount of energy, she's got a little bit of time before we are going to need to be um, hunting beavers. It's kind of like, or it's not quite, I guess it is falling dusk, so we might want to make this, we might want to make this quick. And maybe we'll just mark the lower areas over here by Prospect Peak, and then we'll do the other ones in the morning. But we probably want to do at least some of it before the beavers start to show up, because we got a little time to kill before we hunt, and so I think we're going to do that with Solstice here, and then return to the den for another nap. Alright, it is falling dusk, we finished marking the territory, and now we're actually headed over to the beaver trail, which is just in this direction, and I think... No, I think too, right around here somewhere is that den. I think it's actually over here, and I think Cricket might actually want to stop and take a look at it because I think she might be contemplating actually moving the pups. Now, the fleas are getting irritating. She's not too fond of that, and Beaver is still 10 pounds. Beaver is our runt, and so he is a little bit smaller, but it's him we're going to be waiting on before we're able to move to the rendezvous site. And I feel like, okay, let's see which direction the wind is blowing. That's really not optimal. All right, we're gonna have to circle this trail. Um, but I think uh, she's kind of contemplating actually moving over to this den because I'm pretty sure the den is actually right up this hill. Uh, this is one of the dens that Pierre was at. We have been here before. And I think it's one that Cricket might actually appreciate uh, due to its proximity to the beaver trail, which is right over this way. Now we should have some starting to show up, probably. There's almost always beavers on this trail, it feels like. All right, we're gonna see if any beavers show up along here. How is, okay, the, the wind is coming from the right direction now, and I think, is it actually one coming up the trail? No, I don't think so yet. Doesn't look like it. That is, okay, oh, we need to be, stay back, Solstice, stay back. All right, we're gonna wait up here for it to get a little bit closer, and we will lie and wait and try to jump it when it comes up here. Judging by the lack of trail sense, I think this beaver may actually be the first one up here for the night, which means that it's possible others will follow. And in fact, I can't tell if I'm just seeing the movement of the grass or if there already is another one on its way. In any case, we'll go ahead and try and jump this one, but it might be worth waiting around to see if any others follow. In fact, I think there might be one. I think I do see one far in the distance there. Uh, I can't tell if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me and thinking the grass is beaver, but it does look like it might be another beaver coming up the trail. In any case, that hinges on us being able to catch this one quickly enough. And the wind has shifted in its direction. We have to jump it. All right. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I saw the wind change. But I'm pretty sure we actually do have another beaver coming up the trail uh, here. All right. We got to try and get this guy, first of all, away from it. Um, but second of all, we got to try and actually take it down. Fortunately, we did get the bonus before it smelled us which was not super easy considering the wind shift. Uh, I'm glad we saw it in time. All right, there is another one right here. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we scared it by accident. Darn it. All right. Well, there might be... There might be more yet, but I think that one may be gone, gone. All right, oh, it looks like Solstice is eating quite a bit. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, the wind direction really shifted against us, didn't it? It really went a bad way 
All right, how is both, how are both of them doing on food? They're probably both all right, honestly. So let's, what is this? Is this just a hair? This is just a hair. We're gonna catch it and eat it because we can. And that'll give us some extra food to bring back to the pups. But then I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll actually mark the piece of territory down here that's at 30. This one's still at 50, so it's okay for now. We'll just wanna make sure that we check on it in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll have these two head back to the den. Oh yeah, we did want to investigate this den too, so it is a little bit of a trek from our previous one. It's all the way across two hexes pretty much, but honestly, considering how frustrating the fleas are getting, I think that's something Cricket might want to do. So we may start that journey in the morning as soon as Cricket is well rested. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and mark that territory and then get home because we're going to want to sleep well if we're going to move our pups here in the near future. Here we are, we are back at the den, and here is Beaver coming out to greet us, it looks like. Let's go ahead, we will feed them all a little bit. They're not all that hungry, though, and more than anything, we're going to sleep because these pups are going to have a big journey for them come morning. We're going to actually move away from our den here as much as we've loved being by the beaver pond. Cricket has learned that being by the pond itself is less of a boon than being near the, um, the actual trails. And so we're gonna be moving these guys closer to the uh, the trail that we love so much uh, and bring them to that one den that we just took a look at. So we're gonna go ahead and let them rest up here though. And then I think we'll go ahead and head over there come morning once Cricket is feeling a little better rested because she's getting very itchy too. And so is Aspen by the looks of it. And I don't think either one of them appreciate that. Alright, it is morning, and I think let's just really quickly check the perimeter for danger, make sure that we go in the den one final time, because my goodness, Cricket is itchy, uh, but as long as nothing strange seems to be happening, which I don't think it is, there's a bear scent somewhere? That's not a bear on its way to our den, is it? Cricket's just going to take a quick look at that and make sure, but as long as that all tracks... All right, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. All right, considering that it seems like all that tracks, we're gonna go ahead and we'll actually start to move out and start to get these guys headed towards the other den. And I think we'll go ahead and do that. We will uh, we'll squeak all of them out of the den here and then we'll go ahead and start that journey. What is? That's not something lurking over there. I think that's probably just a stump, but we'll be leaving Beaverfield behind. We will move to a new home. And here we go, we're off to find a new den. So the direction that we're going is gonna be over here to this one. Oh dear, that one's down to 35, unfortunately. So hopefully that doesn't mean we've got stranger wolves on the way. I think sensing that, Cricket might be a little uneasy. She might wanna play with these guys just a little bit, keep their affinity high. But then I think we're gonna, we're gonna just move as quickly as we can possibly. Um, oh, Solstice, is Solstice got beaver? Solstice does not got beaver. Beaver, are you coming? Oh my goodness, these pups are gonna be a little bit rambunctious, aren't they? All right, is this the right den? It looks like it's this one, I think. The one over here? Oh yeah, it's right by the square. The beaver trail is actually between us, so if we make it there by dusk, then we'll be able to lay low in the evening and probably do a little hunting. And I think Cricket is pretty eager to get there, so she might uh, push the pups kind of quickly. We do definitely want to make sure that we stop frequently at grass patches. Uh, we may only have three pups, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be impossible to lose them, especially with Beaver kind of uh, trailing behind. Beaver seems like a bit of a thoughtful sort who uh, kind of takes his time about life and uh, sometimes can get distracted. Hello? Who are you? Food? food not 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 threat all right that's fine we'll go ahead and we'll get a little snack and we'll uh, we'll bring the pups back out in the open and keep moving in that direction we're actually making pretty efficient headway cricket is uh not not taking her time that's for sure she's kind of hustling everyone along and it is we do have puppies running everywhere we do have to keep making sure that nobody's getting lost but uh, I think she's actually, we're doing, we're doing a pretty good job here, it seems like. And is that actually, no, that's the bottom of a tree. Um, and that is a hair that just disappeared off through these grass patches, I think. 
but we might want to uh, woof the puppies into the grass here shortly so that we can actually take a look at the trail. What direction is the wind coming from? Oh, I already smell beavers. All right, there's definitely some on it then. So let's actually get everybody over here, make sure everybody's close to this grass patch, and we will uh, have everybody go in the grass here. Beaver, beaver, please. <laughs> we have to uh, go, go, get, go get some beavers, some real beavers, uh, so that you have food to eat. And uh, we gotta go make sure we can do that. So let's go over here and check the trail. I don't know if I smell them anymore. Oh, I do, I do, I do, okay. Oh, I see them right there too. Uh, right at the end of the trail by the looks of it. So let's come over here and quickly plunk down right at the edge. Yep, there's a couple of them actually. Now I don't know if there's any more coming up it, but there's at least two coming down it. So as long as we sit here and wait, I think Solstice actually stayed back with the puppies for once and he's howling constantly again. Listen to him, he's gonna do it. Yep, there he is again. That's like the third time in a row. Uh, he's just gonna keep constant communication. So hopefully Cricket can do this on her own because she is doing her best to stay hidden. I think she feels better knowing that he's back with them considering how little pack affinity we have. And I think he must've picked up on that too. But uh, he can be a bit of an anxious boy. I think he, um, he does, uh, he does worry for <laughs> I don't want solstice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think he, he gets pretty worried. Oh, but we've got, uh, we've got mule deer coming closer and I think I hear moose music even. I think that's part of what this is. All right. If we can get the bite icon to just show up. Yep, that'll work. That'll work. The other one's running and I don't see another one coming up, but we did do quite a lot of damage here. So as long as we can manage to land the rest of the bites that we need to here, we can just haul this right back to the pups, eat our snack, make sure we feed them. I don't know how hungry the pups are right now. They may actually not be all that hungry. So I think we'll probably be okay with this. Yeah, let's let's see how they're doing. So the, oh, they're, um, they're in the 70s, so this is probably going to go more towards Cricket and Solstice. Let's eat a little bit of this. We'll eat about half and we'll bring the rest back for him. And then we'll keep moving and maybe we'll actually make it to the den before dusk. There we go. He's got his food. And I think, did he finish it off? Was that what he wanted? I, I think he's worried about the puppies. All right, he's howling. The uh, pups are starting to come back out in the open, so let's finish this off quickly. We will give them a little food, too. They're not super hungry, but I think it's enough that we probably do want to feed them. Beaver's out in the open. Is Aspen coming out, too? Aspen, you can come out. It's okay. We'll give you guys some food just to make sure you guys are topped off for the journey, and then we'll keep moving. Um, but this is probably one of the faster journeys that we've had. Uh, it's not, it's definitely not nearly as terrifying as the old journeys, but we still definitely do have to be careful and it's wise to bounce from grass patch to grass patch. Everybody here, Beaver in particular is high in food, which is especially important because he is the smallest uh, and he needs to continue to keep growing at a regular rate if we're going to get through this, but the others are not super hungry either, so we should be good. We just gotta go up here. We're over to this grass patch. Everybody does kind of just spread out and that is a little bit nerve wracking. What was that noise? Oh my goodness, I don't know what that, that loud music was. That scared me a little bit though. All right, let's go in the grass. Just make sure everybody's good. Just make sure everybody's good. But we're actually almost there. Right up right over this hill is the next den. So let's go ahead. We will call the pups out and we'll head off to that den over there and just make sure that we, uh, we get there. Hopefully, hopefully without too much trouble. Here we are. I see it up in the distance here and I think we're almost there. We just got to get the puppies over here and we should be good. We'll be able to uh, have them go right in the den hopefully and this will be a lot more convenient to access that beaver trail. Now we will have to uh, check the territory because we're probably going to want to mark this and it looks like Junction Beaver might be claiming some of that so that's not so that's not so good but we'll go ahead. We will. Okay it's another open den. We're going to claim it and we are also going to have to give it a name as well. So we had Beaver Field. I think we'll have Beaver Hill as well. And this is our new den and I think it'll be a pretty, pretty good one hopefully. 
Uh, we found a new den, and we just want to make sure, okay, our affinity is actually pretty good, and the flea load should finally no longer be quite so miserable. So let's actually go ahead, we'll take a brief rest here, and then we'll probably try and do a little bit more hunting at dusk, uh, and then we'll head back and wrap up, I think, because Cricket's getting pretty tired, but it will be good to get one more beaver if we can. This seems about a good time here, let's go ahead, you guys good? Everybody good? They're going in the den, all right. I was a little bit worried, Solstice. Solstice, he wants, he wants hunt, all right. Solstice has got the right idea. Where is he going? He's going this way. Um, is he gonna stick with us? He's gonna stick with us, I think, if we go this way. All right, let's go back. We'll check briefly for the beavers. Hmm, not liking that either. Um, we probably really do, because we'll probably have a rendezvous site somewhere in this area too, so it, it is good to start marking this. We probably can let this one go, maybe? Well, maybe not, but we'll, we'll see. We'll probably, we've got, we've got some problems to deal with in the future, but for now, I think, uh, this is, everything's going okay. Alright, what direction is the wind coming from? The wind is blowing this way, so we do need to circle around and make sure we approach from the other side so the beavers don't scent us. But we should be good and hopefully able to bring back, or I'll at least catch hopefully two, and maybe even bring back one so that we can feed the pups and then eat some more and make sure we stay very nice and topped off. But there is the trail. Let's see if there's any beavers on it. And it smells like there are. I think we actually can scent some already. So that is a handy thing to have this right here. I think Cricket is not going to regret her decision, especially now that we are safely here. All right, where is the trail exactly? Sometimes it's a little hard to see in specifics. I think it's a little bit... Oh, no, 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 this is it, this is it. All right, where is the actual beavers on it? Are there actual beavers on it? Is there one right up here? There is. All right, let's try and crouch. And we should be able to jump this guy when he gets a little closer. Are there any coming up? There might be. I can't tell if that's a beaver or not. Was that a beaver that I saw up here? What? Did my eyes deceive me? I think my eyes might have deceived me. Oh! You know what I bet I saw was that eagle. <laughs> I bet that's what I saw. But you know what? As it turns out, there's actually an elk carcass just right here. Well, I guess we don't need to hunt beavers today. I guess we can just feast off of what already what we already have. That's good to know. That's actually actually a really handy thing to have here. And Solstice could probably stand to eat even a little bit more. So we'll make sure he gets the chance to do that before we head back. Well, that makes things simple for us. That's a, a little bit a little bit of a good thing after uh, a little bit of a stressful move. Well, not super stressful, but stressful in concept. Stressful in concept. Now I think there may be a beaver way down on the trail, but I'm not 100% sure. But in any case, let's go ahead. How are the puppies? The puppies are a little bit hungry, so let's actually take a meat chunk here. And did Solstice, did that fill him up on food? That did. So let's bring this back. We'll go ahead, we'll feed the pups, and then we'll eat this. And we will be good for the episode. I think we'll probably be all right. So we'll see you guys back at the den. It is really not a far trip back to the den. We just gotta make sure, oh, there comes Aspen. Let's go ahead and feed. And we do need to be careful because we are gonna have some problems to deal with. Like we're gonna have stranger wolves probably coming in, I think. If you look at our map here, um, we have quite a, quite a few, quite a few spots that are not looking so hot and we do need to fill this whole area if we can. Uh, but I think, you know, Cricket hasn't been as concerned about Prospect Peak. She's kind of had some other things to worry about, but I certainly don't think she will, uh, be averse to the idea of having to be, or being able to be a little bit farther away from them. I think that's going to be an additional benefit in her eyes uh, to not have to deal with them so much. Granted, it's been Junction Butte that's been giving them a lot of problems, so that's maybe not such a good thing. But overall, I think she's going to be a lot happier with this place than, no, I don't want to go in the den. I would like to eat the, um, the meat chunk here, if we can, finish off what's left of it. Oh, I guess we're going to regurgitate a little bit more for the pups first, uh, and then we can finish off this meat chunk, I th or not. Okay, 
we probably really got to give them a little bit more and there's solstice howling again he really he really does like to uh like to make his voice heard that's for sure and that should be plenty of food for the pups but we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today i think because it is getting to be about that time again so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over a doubt